Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is going to be my review of all of the Warhammer 40,000 Apocalypse value sets. I'm going to go through each one and also rate them in terms of the sets that you can save the most uh, on all the models in the sets uh, individually. First thing what I'd like to just say is if you use the affiliate link down in my description of this video for Element Games, they're selling all of the Apocalypse sets uh, for £80. So you're already saving £20 and on top of that, if you were to just click one, like the Chaos Space Marine one, by the way, um, you also get free first class UK delivery um, and they can ship to many, many places, mainly in uh, Europe. But I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Please do use that affiliate link. Uh, it tells them that I have basically recommended them to you. Let's get on to the video. So if you look on Games Workshop's website, you've got this big, big advert for Apocalypse. Battle bigger, better. Take command of vast armies in the 41st millennium. If we just click there, not only does it give you all of the Apocalypse releases, it actually gives you the pre-orders for this week too. The best way I can do this is by viewing all and going high to low and then kind of meandering down to the £100 mark. Each of these sets uh, is available for £100. Um, you've got the Imperial Knight Super Heavy Detachment is um, no longer available online. It might make a comeback, who knows? But as you can see there on Element Games, also unavailable, and it's unavailable at a few other places. That's fine though, because actually that is the worst value Apocalypse set in terms of buying the model separately. When I first looked at these sets, I thought, whoa, hang on a minute, a Castellan's 100 pounds anyway. Um, so you're getting the two armages for free. Well, yeah, but... Um, it does save you £45, but um, we'll go through all of these sets um, as they are, um, and then I will rate them all. So let's start off with this Chaos Space Marines Battalion Detachment. This one here is uh, £100, and it does include uh, the Chaos Terminator Lord, which is £15, and um, three boxes... Um, of the brand new Chaos Space Marines, which are, which I've recently reviewed in the uh, Chaos Space Marine um, new releases. They're £35 each, um, and they're the main reason why you get this set. You also include two boxes, basically, of um, Chaos Space Marine bikes. They are £21 for three, so that's £42. Um, so in total, that set would cost you £160 in total, so you're saving £62. Pretty good. The Imperial Knights I've just discussed. The Castellan is a hundred, and the and the uh, Helverins are forty five. So that's one hundred and forty five pounds. So you're saving forty five. The Craftworld's uh, Vanguard detachment right here includes one Spirit Seer, um, and I think I told a subscriber before that it was the new Spirit Seer in the Shadow Spear Tooth and Claw box set. Um, but actually it's it's not, it's just your, your normal Spirit Seer. However, an important note to make is that you can't actually get that Spirit Seer individually at the moment. So this might be your only way of sort of getting him. Anyway, the Eldar box set uh, has the Spirit Seer, three boxes of Wraith Guard, which are still a fantastic kit, um, two and two Wraith Lords. Now the Wraith Guard are £30 for five, so that's £90, and the Wraith Lords are £28 each, so that's 56 So that's £157 for all of the models, so you're saving £57. If we move down to the Tyranid Spearhead Detachment, it includes one Hive Tyrant for £33, one Carnifex Brood for 55 so you're getting the two Carnifexes, one Trigon, for £36 and one Tyranifex for £35. It's important note to make that the Carnifex Brood has lots and lots of options. Um, so does the Hive Tyrant. It will have wings in there, so you can have a winged Hive Tyrant if you want. The Trigon has enough parts to, to make it into a Morlock, and the Tyranifex also you can turn it into a Turvigon, I think. Um, so that's a really, really good box set in terms of the options for each of those models. You can basically turn them into loads of different models. It's, it's excellent and there'll be loads of spare parts too. Um, so in total that is £159, so you're saving £59. The Astra Militarum Spearhead Detachment is slightly odd because it's got a command um, 
squad, which is £15.50. It's got two Lehman Ross tanks. Um, they're £31 each, so that's £62. One Demolisher, which again is £31. One Heavy Weapons um, squad, which is £24. And one Chimera, which is £22.50. Normally, Astra Militarum, I would associate with either lots of tanks, which this set has, um, or lots and lots of infantry. Uh, but this, in this case, they've gone with the, the tanks and the Chimera. Obviously, you could put all your command squad and I think maybe the heavy weapons um, team as well. But anyway, uh, that would be a total of £155, so saving £55. The Orc Spearhead Detachment, this is one of my favourites, I think. Um, it includes uh, two Death Dreads, uh, they're £31 each, so that's £62. That's the core of this set. Um, it includes... Two sets of three killer cans, they're £28 each, so that's £56. A big mech, which is still £22.50. Um, and I balked at the uh, price when I first saw that, but now you're getting, you know, models like uh, Amalia Novena for £2.50 less. And the size of that big mech and, uh, and the detail on it is still pretty good all these years later. And then you get a mech as well for £13. Anyway, that will be £153.50 in total, so you're saving £53. Let's move down to the Adeptus Mechanicus Vanguard Detachment. Um, now, this includes a Tech Priest Dominus um, from about five years ago, I think. Uh, it's £22. Three Castellan robots um, with their... with their little... Um, Cybernetica data smiths, it's like three three boxes basically. They're £42 each, so that's £126. So that's what you're getting, three three boxes of robots and uh, the Tech Priest Dominus. That will cost you £148 in total, so you're only saving £48. The Space Marine Battalions, the Space Marines Battalion Detachment includes a captain for £22.50, three boxes of uh, intercessors, which are £35 each, so that's £105 in total, and one Redemptor Dreadnought, which is £40. So that will be a whopping £167.50 if you were to uh, buy all of these models separately. If you've already got quite a few squads of intercessors and the captain, um, and maybe already a Redemptor Dreadnought, there's really no point unless you're starting a new um, chapter uh, or something like that. Uh, using up the new contrast paints to, you know, start an Imperial Fist Force or um, Salamanders or something like that. The Tau Empire Vanguard Detachment then, that includes a Commander, which is £30. Two boxes of Crisis um, suits, they're normally £45 each, so that's £90. And then one Riptide, which is a whopping £50. You get that massive Riptide in there. Um, the most expensive uh, model in all of these apocalypse um, sets sort of individually it's half the price of the set itself um, so that would be a grand total of 170 pounds so you are saving 70 pounds that's the best value i'll rate them in a moment though then finally last but not least uh, the necrons slowly uh, waking up um, and find themselves in an apocalypse box set uh, the Necrons includes the, that Cryptek model, which is still a very, very decent model. That was in a box set, uh, I think, last year, um, when the Armagers were, were first developed. I've totally forgotten the name, though. Please put it in the comment below and help me out. Um, so he's £20. You get two Canoptek Wraiths. They're normally £28.50, so that's £57. Two Tomb Blades, so two boxes of Tomb Blades, three in each. Um, they are normally £24 for a box, that's 48 and then one Ghost Arc uh, for £31. So overall, all those models in total would cost you £156, so you're saving £56. So, let's go on to which box set saves you the most money um, from buying all the models uh, individually. First up, it is the Tau. To buy all those... Uh, Robot suits, crisis suits, and the Riptide would cost you £170 separately. Um, and look at all those little drones and things you get as well. So you're saving £70. So this is the best value Apocalypse box set, especially if you haven't got any of these suits or you just want to start a new um, Tower Army. It really does offer the best value. The second highest value box set is the Space Marines 
battalion detachment. I don't know why they haven't put Primaris in it because all of these are Primaris um, in this set. Uh, that would cost you £167.50. So you are saving £67.50, almost £70. Um, you don't get that many models though, in theory. You're getting 32 models, 30 intercessors, a captain and the redemptor. The intercessors themselves, they're not that um, poseable, customizable. Um, the captain is a monopose miniature. The Redemptor Dreadnought is, is the style of the show in the set though. Um, lovely, lovely kit and actually take you a bit longer than you, you might think to, to build. Uh, and he has uh, multiple posing options as well. But if you haven't jumped on board the Primera Space Marine train yet, this Apocalypse set uh, definitely is uh, offers a, a decent number of savings. But with 30 intercessors in your arsenal, that's a pretty big army, really. Uh, I would have personally have liked to have only seen 20 intercessors and maybe 10 Hellblasters, just for, for a bit of variation. But because um, what they're doing with this set is kind of turning Primaris into like a horde army, which they're yeah not. They're very pricey um, for, for what you're getting in terms of um, rules. The third best value set is of course the Chaos Space Marines Battalion Detachment. Um, it's hard to ignore those three box sets of the £35 10 Chaos Space Marines and they do offer better customization options than the Primaris. Each one is different and individual. You can customize them very well um, with loads of chain swords and bolt guns and bolt pistols and melter guns, flamers, you name it. The whole set would normally cost you £162 separately, but so you're saving £62. It is let down by the very old Chaos um, Terminator Lord, but he does have a lot of custom customizable options, and also you're let down by those six um, Chaos Space Marine bikers, um, which haven't had a new model in, I want to say, over 10 years or so. Fourth on the list is the Tyranid Spearhead Detachment. For £100, you're getting five big gribbly monsters and the Carnifexes are a bit bigger than the the hive tyrant the trigon is huge and so is the tyrant effects i just wish that games workshop had or will be um, eventually making a you know knight equivalent plastic miniature because uh you know after the Darmakiron that's made by forge world which is quite pricey and um, you're then looking at a hierophant which is about 270 pounds or so um tyranid need more as they love, um, they need more investment in their uh, in their model range, big time. But if you were to buy all these five models um, individually, it costs you one hundred and fifty nine pounds. So you're saving fifty nine pound. The fifth um, box set on our list is the Craftworlds Vanguard detachment. Um, again, you, you can see a trend happening here. You know, some of these um, sets that have three of a certain type of unit um, quickly bump up. Um, the the value of of the set but let's face it they are three boxes or sets of the same unit uh, however these wraith guard do have a lot of customizable options with the d sides the d cannons the uh, power axes the swords dual wielding swords there's lots of options here and there's lots of options for those wraith lords as well um, and the spirit seer is still a pretty cool model even though it's a little monopose model so if you haven't got that worth getting just for, just for all those Wraith Guard, especially if you've got a uh, Eandon Force, right? Anyway, that would cost you £157 in total, uh, so you're saving £57. Number six on the list is the Necron set, right here. Um, if you were to buy all of these separately, that would cost you £156, so you're saving £56. So between the Tyranid, Eldar, Necron, and I'm about to announce the Astra Militarum, there's not much in it. There's four pounds in it from the Tyranid set saving you 59 uh, down to the Eldar saving you 57, Necron saving 56 and Astra Militarum saving you 55. Um, the Necron set I'm not a huge fan of at all. I'm not a big fan of the Tomb Blades, the Ghost Arc. The Canoptic Wraiths are pretty nice though um, but they're all quite old-ish model in need of a revamp um, but the Cryptek is pretty cool model. Let's go over to the Astra Militarum, um, which rank seventh on my list. Uh, this is just a, I say big set, this is just gonna be a big box of 
tank sprues at the end of the day. Um, you've got the two Lehman Russes in there, which have a lot of options. You've got the Demolisher, the Chimera, which is an old kit. You know, the Command Squad's an old kit, the Heavy Weapons. It's just a box of old kits now. Um, but if you were to buy them separately, £155, so at least you are saving 55 So essentially, let's say you're getting the Demolish and the Chimera for free with that set. Surprisingly, Orcs, who usually have a very, very high value box set, um, they only ranked 8 out of 10 in my value range. Um, to buy all those Killer Cans and Death Dread separately would cost you £153.50, um, so you are only saving £53.50. Let's face it, you are essentially getting but six killer cans for free. So you're paying for the two death threads, uh, the mech and the big mech, but you're getting the six killer cans for free, which is still pretty good in terms of value. And then number nine was the Adeptus Mechanicus Vanguard detachment. All of those three boxes of robots and the tech priest uh, would cost you 148. So you're saving 48 pounds. So you're not even saving 50 pounds, which means you're getting, you know, one of those sets of uh, robots uh, for free and a little bit off uh, the rest of the models. And finally, in last place, but is the only one that's uh, no longer available online, I guess people waited and waited uh, for the Castellan um, uh, robot, or maybe because they're doing so well in-game, and they're very, very uh, highly powered. Um, but the Imperial Knight Super Heavy Detachment, uh, that is no longer available, and that is the worst value out of all of the sets. Uh, it would cost you £145 there for that Castellan and the two Helverins. So you are getting the Helverins for free. Uh, you are saving £45. Maybe people don't have enough Helverins or enough Castellans. Let's face it, none of us have enough of these these lovely um, Imperial Knights. Uh, and, you know, with Chaos Knights just around the corner, ready for pre-order for this weekend, um, I think many people want to get the reinforcements in um, before those chaos chaos nights hit anyway that is it for my uh, apocalypse box set um value review i hope you've enjoyed it i've enjoyed making this video i love making these videos where i um jot down all of the um prices of the models individually uh these videos do take me a fair bit longer um, than the uh, typical reviews um but I hope you found it useful. Um, and you know, if you're starting a, a Tau, a Primaris, Gale Space Marine, or Tyranid or Eldar Army, those are the top five Apocalypse um, box sets to get that offer you the best value. Of course, as always, um, value is very subjective. If you've got any of those armies at all, then your purchasing choice will definitely depend on which models you already own. Personally, uh, from all of my armies, I wouldn't get any of them. Um, if I was tempted uh, by any of them, it probably would be the Imperial Knights uh, uh, box set and maybe the Chaos Space Marine. But um, these sets um, still offer you great value and it's good to see Games Workshop continue to make these kind of sets uh, because often, more often than not, they do bring out models and then bundle them all in some kind of collection um, for the same price as if they were separate. So I'm still a big fan of them uh, putting them in these in these sets and um, allowing people that haven't got the armies uh, or want to add it reinforcements, bringing these sets at a sort of cheaper price than, than usual. Anyway, what do you guys think? Um, which box set, if any, is your favorite out of these Apocalypse sets? Um, Please do put all of your thoughts and comments down below as always. I really enjoy reading them. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.